beautiful queens and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ishima and I run a blog called Essence and Style but on this channel I focus on style, beauty and lifestyle videos. And as you've seen in the intro, today's video is going to be about my recent thrifted purchases and I want to just show you guys what I got and basically how I style them. Spring is very near. Um, it's still pretty cold in my area. I wanted to create a video that would share some inspiration and in how you can style thrifted pieces and also save your coins. So yes, so if you're interested in that, please go ahead and continue watching. But before we get into the actual videos, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads. And also thumbs up the video so I know you like it. All right now. Enough of my rambling, let's get into the video. All right, so first of all, I wanted to just share with you the pieces and I'll probably do like a split screen of how I would style it and um, we'll go from there. We'll see how it works out, okay? Um, I know you may be wondering, why is she wearing a hat in her video? Well, I'm working on some merch, guys, so hopefully in the near future, you'll be able to purchase your very own logo cap, and I have some other things working on, so um, stay tuned for that. Shameless plug. <laughs> All right, so let's get into what you guys are here for. All right, so for me, um, shopping in stores gets very overwhelming for me. So one of the things that I do um, is to go in with an idea of what I want to purchase. Usually much cheaper um, to do thrifting for special pieces. So my special pieces are always blazers. So that's the first um, item that I go in. And I always have like a color in mine like so my first my first piece was this like a beige yeah it's like a beige it's like a beige um blazer and i knew i wanted it oversized so i definitely went into the men's section to get this i don't recall what size but it fits me uh, very oversized and I just like the color it's a great neutral to have it um, it's long and um, it's really cool it has like a little flaw in the jacket so bear in mind when you go thrifting they're gonna be pieces that you're gonna love um, but they may, may come with flaws so you just have to weigh your options I mean like this was I think $4.99 it wasn't expensive and I think I got an additional 30% off so I didn't mind that I mean it's inside the coat it's not on the outside where anyone can see actually the outside is in pretty good condition I dry clean them um, before I wear them so that's another thing as well um, so I'm just gonna try it on and show you guys how I will style this piece and I'll do like a side by side so you can see while I'm talking <laughs> um, how it looks on and how I would style it all right so the next blazer um is this really cute color and i actually already have the style plan so you're going to see that on the side um but this was a last minute purchase i was actually leaving the store and i saw this and i was like oh i have to have to have this so i tried it on made sure that i like how it fits but i love the inside this one has actually no flaws on it but i just fell in love with the color it looks good on my skin tone and it's really easy to style and i'm really into neutral colors on um, this season i'll probably in be into neutral colors for a while because they're just so easy and timeless and yeah <laughs> so this is the second blazer all right so the next blazer is actually a linen white blazer I, when I picked this up, I had summer in mind. It's very um, lightweight and it's really easy to style. You can wear this. I'm gonna pair it actually with this skirt that I also um, thrifted um, and I'll just jump to that next. But I'm gonna pair with that, but you can also in the summer, you can wear it with jeans, shorts, or as a cover for dresses. Um, yeah. All right, so this next skirt, I'm actually gonna pair it with the white blazer actually when I had this I immediately thought the Gucci logo tights 
and I've been low key wanting to get that. I went at it on my um, budget friendly luxury list. I'm gonna share that video with you guys soon. Um, but you're gonna see how it looks on. Is that pounds to print? And it's like it has like that. Uh, it's pleated. It's very flowy. And I think I could actually get away with this in the office. Um, one with like tights and uh, loafers. So I really, really like this. I love how it fits. Now the flaw on this is that my tummy is too big and um, it doesn't um, button up because of my tummy. But it, it dips all the way up to the waist, but it doesn't fasten because my tummy needs to go down a little bit. But anyway, but I just love it. Um, I love the print. Um, yeah, and I think it'll go well with those Gucci logo tights. All right, so the next two items are oversized shirts. The first one is this one. It's the Van Heusen brand. And I, again, it's kind of similar to the blazer that I got, um, but I, it has like an olive undertone. And I, I'm really into olive green. I've mentioned this over the past few videos, but I really, really like how this looks. It's oversized, so you can wear it as a dress, or you could just tuck the front in, which is what I'll do with this look. Tuck the front in and just leave the back hanging. Um, like I said, there these looks are more for casual outings. I don't really do dress up, so most of my pieces that I buy is for casual days. So. <laughs> All right, so getting into the last piece. The last piece is this olive green oversized shirt. Like this is a 4X guys, like where, where am I going with this? <laughs> but um, when I picked this piece up, I immediately thought summer um, because it's gonna be so flowy and I had intention of belting it and wearing it with jean shorts or you can wear it with long jeans or a white um, cargo pants and your flats or white sneakers. Like it, it's, it's just a variety of things that you can do with this oversized shirt. And I just love the color. I love the tone on me and it's really, really nice. All right guys, so that is the end of my video. Um, I just wanted to share with you quickly, like my thrift experience has shown me that one, um, I need to have some type of creative uh, thought process with when I actually get the pieces. I need to look at the potential in the piece. And two, it's going to be cost efficient. You're gonna definitely get your cost per wear with these items because they are so inexpensive. Yeah, that's basically what I took away from my experience. Yes, the smell is can get overwhelming, uh, but I've learned just to push past that and go in with a plan. Be open-minded. Um, with respect to the pieces that you buy, with respect to their flaws that you may find. Some of them you may not even find anything wrong with them. Um, actually one of the pieces that I actually put back uh, because I didn't like how it felt on me um, was actually brand new. It still had the tag on it and but I just put it back because uh, I'm not going to buy something that I'm not going to wear and I'm not comfortable in. So that's another thing that you need to pay attention to. So. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. And like I said, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss my upload. If you don't follow me on social media, make sure you do that because that's where you'll actually see my stills of the looks that I created here on my YouTube channel. I appreciate you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to thumbs up.